Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. ASML, the dominant player in the field of lithography, seems to be in a prosperous situation, but in fact, it is like walking on thin ice, and every step is full of unknown risks. Its anxiety is not groundless, but stems from three real challenges technological catch-up, market loss and strategic confusion. These challenges are gradually undermining its former monopoly and ushering in a new round of reshuffles in the global semiconductor industry. The first anxiety, the overtaking curve of technology. A few years ago, the words of ASML executives, I can't make it even if I give you the drawings, still echoed in my ears. However, in March 2025, a technological breakthrough by the Chinese Academy of Sciences shocked the global semiconductor industry. China successfully developed all solid state deep ultraviolet DUV, laser light source technology. This technology has chosen a subversive path using YB, YAG crystals to generate infrared lasers and then outputting 193 nanometers deep ultraviolet light through third harmonic conversion. This not only cleverly circumvents ASML's more than 20,000 patent blockades, but also reduces the size of the equipment by 40% and energy consumption by 70%. ASML engineers once commented, this is like the generational difference between fuel vehicles and electric vehicles. The spectral purity of domestic DUV light sources is close to the ASML level. Although the current output power is only 70 milliwatts, ASML is 100W, its simplified structure advantage makes the catching up speed far exceed expectations. What is more exciting is that China is accelerating breakthroughs through the dual-track strategy. Solid-state DUV focuses on mature processes, while laser-driven plasma LDP, technology targets flexible production. And the mask-free feature has unique advantages in the small-batch customization market. The iteration of technology is like overtaking on a curve on a racetrack. For the first time, ASML felt the approach of the pursuers behind it. The second anxiety, the cabbage price revolution in the market. At the 2025 Shanghai Semiconductor Exhibition, a domestic force called Shenzhen Team made a stunning appearance. Shenzhen Shinkailai exhibited a dual-stage lithography machine for the first time, with a positioning accuracy of plus or minus 2.5 nanometers, 0.5 nanometers higher than ASML, Nanjing University of Science and Technology's RF photoresist has been verified by SMIC, and its performance is catching up with the Japanese giant JSR. This team, composed of 238 supporting enterprises, has pushed the domestic componentization rate to an astonishing 90%. What makes ASML even more uneasy is the cost-effective revolution of domestic equipment. The price of a domestic DUV device is only one-third of ASML's products with the same performance, and the maintenance cost has plummeted by 65%. This bargain price strategy quickly leveraged the market. Yangtze Memories production line began to mix domestic products. And SMIC was even reported to have cancelled some ASML orders. The market data is even more cruel. In 2024, China contributed 36.1% of ASML's global revenue, about 10.2 billion euros, but this gold master status is shaky. ASML revised its sales forecast to China overnight its market share may fall below 15% in 2026. The third anxiety, the strategic dilemma. 
Faced with the double attack of technology and market, ASML's strategy has fallen into unprecedented confusion. On the one hand, it relies on the Chinese market to maintain revenue. On the other hand, it has to cooperate with export controls under pressure from the United States. The Dutch Prime Minister's speech is intriguing. China is a partner that cannot be ignored. However, ASML was forced to restrict the sale of advanced DUV equipment to China and even included two old models, NXT, 1970i, 1980i, in the control list. This contradictory mentality of both dependence and fear makes ASML's global layout tread on thin ice. What's more fatal is that China chose to announce the breakthrough of lithography machines at this time two domestic lithography machines were included in the promotion catalogue of the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, among which the argon fluoride lithography machine, wavelength 193 nanometers, can support the mass production of 28 nanometers chips. This move sends a clear signal. It is meaningless to expand the technological blockade. Foreign media bluntly said, ASML should be anxious. When mature process equipment is fully localized, ASML's low-end DUV lithography machine will completely lose the market. In the long run, the focus of competition in the chip industry is shifting from process to advanced packaging technology, and this track is precisely the advantage battlefield of domestic lithography machines. The survival on ice of the lithography machine overlord Behind ASML's triple anxiety is a profound change in technological independence and industrial chain collaboration. China's breakthrough is not accidental five years of R&D investment, 238 companies working together in the industrial chain, and the precise attack on the market by the cabbage price strategy together constitute the cornerstone of this counterattack. For the global semiconductor industry, this change sends a more positive signal. The door to monopoly is being opened, and diversified competition will promote technology accessibility and cost reduction. As an engineer said, when the candle becomes a searchlight, it illuminates the future of the entire industry. ASML's anxiety may be the prelude to the rebirth of the industry.